Hello guys, it's Harry from Kickstart Commerce and I'm back today with another tutorial for you. So today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the search bar and search feature from your store in Big Commerce. So uh, we will do this by editing the theme files and I will show you that in a second. Um, and I'll show you which tags we need to remove from the uh, theme files. So the first one is in the navigation dash menu dot HTML file. Uh, we need to remove the div with the class. Hmm. Nav pages dash quick search. And then the second thing we need to do is in the navigation.html file. We need to remove the div with the ID of quick search and also the list item um, containing the A tag with a class of nav user oh, my spellings all over the place today nav user action space nav user action dash dash quick search so these are the two uh, or well, three changes that we'll need to remove to hide the uh, search functions. So we're going to have to do that in the back office. Um, so if you navigate to storefront, uh, I'm in the cornerstone theme, but the theme file should be very similar for e all the themes. So in the cornerstone uh, theme here, if we go to advanced and quickly make a copy and um, we can call this uh, it is the 4th of the 3rd 21 yep so if we just make a copy um, it means there is a, a backup if some, one of the changes is to go wrong so this uh, saved copy will load in down here. Right, so now we have this version. Um, if we click the three dots here and apply this most current theme, there we go. So now this uh, new version is applied and the backup from before will still be here somewhere I think mine is here so then after we've done that we can go and edit theme files okay so uh, in here you're going to want to uh, navigate to templates components common and then if you scroll down, you'll start to see these navigation ones. So the first one we need to look at is navigation menu HTML. So if we go to navigation menu HTML and right click or left click even, open it up. Um, and we were looking for the div class, the div with the class nav pages quick search. Now that's at the top here. So the div with the class nav pages quick search. Um, now, usually what I would do is do a, a little sign like that to essentially comment it out so that it doesn't read this through. Um, now that's usually good if you don't want to delete uh, what's here um, and you could at a later date remove these comments and it should in theory 
um, put the search function back in. But I've tested this a couple of times and for some reason uh, commenting out this code um, for this function actually kind of breaks it a bit, it doesn't work properly. So what we're going to have to do instead of commenting it out is just delete this completely. Now, uh, before you do that, you might want to um, open up a text pad or something and just highlight and copy this whole file and do the same for the next one um, so that you have a, a backup if you do think you're going to want to put the search function back on. Um, but you can also uh, come back to this video if you need to and just copy the code back in like that. Um, but for the sake of this video, we will get rid of this code. So let's go and just delete that. Okay, and I'll move myself out of the way. If we save and apply that, that is save. That is the first change done. And the second change is in the navigation.html file. So if we go down this list, we have navigation.html as well. And the first one the first one we are looking for is div ID quick search. So if we have a quick look down here, um, this is at the bottom. So there's a div class here with an ID of quick search. Um, so if we remove this div as well, like that. And then we're also looking for the list item containing the anchor with the class nav user action, nav user action quick search. So that's in here somewhere. There's an li, nav user action, nav user action quick search. So if we take this from the start of the li to the closing li and we remove that and then save and apply that. Right, there we go. So those two changes have been made and saved. Now, if we go on to the front end of the store and we refresh. The search function has now disappeared. So if you don't need that in your store, then uh, that is how you can do it. I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to do it, um, but that is how we are doing it at the moment. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions for another tutorial, then uh, feel free to drop us a message or leave it in the comments. Uh, but for now, uh, bye for now.